Here. Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's talk about three things to think about for this morning. These are three things that I wrote down in my morning studies. I hope you guys are doing your studies every morning, mind, body, and soul every fucking day. That's how we get through. That's how we not just survive, but we thrive. Any weak ass, little punk ass motherfucker can just survive. Go look outside, go look around you. The world is full of little weakling, little, little sorry ass motherfuckers who are surviving. We wanna thrive. I don't know why I think about it, but I love that phrase, be a warrior in a garden instead of garden, a gardener in a war. You know that one? All right, let's get, uh, let's get with this list. The first thing on my list that I wrote down this morning from my morning studies, this is a tough one. To me, this is heavy duty. Your future isn't predicated on what you have lost. It's predicated on what you have left. You might take it like this. A lot of motherfuckers out there are really focused on what they've lost in life. The, the, the identity that they may have lost, their innocence that may, they may have lost through trauma, relationships that they may have lost that they were too attached to that may not have been meant to be or that they may have ruined. We've ruined relationships. We have to admit that. It's not everybody else's fault. That kind of thing can hurt. We can focus so much on what we lost. I've done this. It sucks. It's painful. That's that weakness taking over. So your future isn't predicated on what you've lost. It's predicated on what you have left, what you've learned from what you've lost. You may go through a loss. Say you lost your house, lost your job, lost your girl. I lost, <laughs> I lost everything all at once. I lost my job, lost my girl, my fiance. She was my dream girl. The, the one that was, she was, she was the Eve to my Adam. We were meant to be and I lost her. I fucked it up. I blew it. I went to jail three times that year. All in a row, bam, bam, bam. I got busted for, uh, right after the chick dumped me, I went homeless and then I got busted for drugs, I got out, I bailed out. I was still on bail, you know, just waiting for a court date. I never should have bailed out. I was waiting for a fucking court date. I get busted a week later, six days later, by the same fucking cops on a block over. The second time was for uh, possession with the intent to distribute a controlled substance. I mean, I was just making my situation worse and worse. I was just going through a, a period of losing everything. I lost my dog. My dog! I had to give my dog away. I couldn't afford it. Couldn't even buy food. Dog was going hungry. I lost all my friends. Friends turned against me. Just bullshit drama. I, I was without nothing, walking the streets without nothing sitting in a jail cell with nobody, no visitors coming, nobody wants to call me, no family, nobody. Going through the holidays, nobody is writing me any letters. You can focus on what you've lost. I've lost everything. Or I can focus on what it's taught me. Your future isn't predicated on what you've lost. It's predicated on what you have left. What those losses taught you, that's what you have left in you. You have left strength. What you have left is knowledge. What you have left is wisdom. You want to be successful at something? You want to be successful at life? Go fail at something. Wisdom is built through failure, not through success. A successful person who's never had any kind of mishaps is not wise. It's an idiot. Trust fund baby on daddy's money. Let's go to the next one. These are three things to think about this morning. Agony will always find you on its own. Ecstasy has to be searched for. Let me stretch for my tea. I don't know why I put my tea all the way under the side of the fucking table. Agony will always find you on its own. Ecstasy has to be searched for. So, 
when we don't take an active role towards our happiness. And you can't just look for happiness because that's a, that's a treasure hunt that you'll, you'll never find. You have to create a life of meaning. So when you're living every day with a meaningful life, and let's just go through it really, really quickly. How do you live a meaningful life? You live a meaningful full life through helping others. So when you go through every day by helping others, being of service to others, each one teach one. Anybody old enough to remember that phrase? We used to say that shit down at the barrio. Each one teach one. Go grab some little motherfucker and mentor that motherfucker. You have to fight for happiness, for ecstasy, for a good life. Whatever you want to call it. You have to fight for that shit. It's not going to find you. You're not going to sit around and it's just going to happen upon you. And all I had to do was wait long enough and the perfect life just finally found me. I finally had what I wanted and all I had to do was wait and do nothing. It never works that way. Even motherfuckers that win the lottery had to go buy the ticket and go look at the statistics and like 90 something percent of these motherfuckers end up broke in the first year or two because they don't know how to spend their goddamn money. They end up more miserable than they were to begin with. It's one thing being happy and broke. It's another thing being a millionaire who lost all his money. <laughs> Those are the guys that jump off bridges and buildings. I mean, it, it, during the Great Recession, remember that shit back in the 20s and they had pictures of these motherfuckers jumping out of buildings, stockbrokers and stuff like that. It wasn't homeless, poor people jumping out of buildings. It wasn't the people in Harlem jumping out of buildings. It was the motherfuckers uptown. Agony will always find you on its own. If we're complacent in life, you're going to find a lot of misery. If you're just sitting there on the side of the road without moving forward, you are going to be wallowing in misery. Everybody who sits on the side of the road is depressed. There's no happy motherfucker that's just sitting there content with their lives, re refusing to change, refusing to be better. That's false. That's a fantasy. That's a delusion. That's a crazy person. Be happily discontent with yourself every day. Constantly work on yourself. That's being humble. You find ecstasy. You find happiness. You find joy. Through productivity, through meaning, through work. Happiness is on the other side of suffering, of your suffering, of your hard work. Let's move on to the next one. It's going to be kind of a quick list today. This is three things to think about for today. Now, this one is kind of relevant in the context of some of the stuff we've seen on the news. Some of that horrible things we've seen on the news lately. Like that piece of shit terrorist. That's what I call him. That goddamn animal who ran through the fucking parade in Wisconsin in his SUV. If you don't understand evil, you will be taken under by the horrors of existence. If you don't understand evil, you will be taken under by the horrors of existence. A lot of people just don't understand evil. How could that guy have done that? What was he thinking? What is, was, was his motive? I write crime novels. I've written two so far. I'm trying to get published. I'm going to self-publish and then I'll offer them for everybody. And believe me, I'll be promoting the living shit out of those things. You guys are going to get sick of me promoting my books. So <laughs> it is what it is right now. I'm writing a third book right now, but that's more of a, a book on mental strength. It's not a novel. But the crime novels that I've written, I had to do a lot of research for. Now, I lived the life of a criminal, so some of the stuff I was able to draw for the book was out of my own head and my own experience. And my family on my father's side, that's what this tattoo is, they go back hundreds of years in organized crime as criminals. But I had to do a lot of research nonetheless. With some of this research, you go through some of the most horrible crimes. On many of them, you have, I had that same kind of reaction that a lot of people have, that naive people have, because there's always going to be that crime that shocks you, that brings you a, a tear to your eye, it chokes you up, makes you mad with rage, 
There's always going to be one of those. There's some things that you hear about where you're just like, yeah, well, it is what it is. We live in a hard world. And then some things fuck you up. You notice how some people get really fucked up over basic shit? You got to really come up with a heavy-duty news story to fuck me up. 9-11 fucked me up. I was almost in tears. I may have cried on 9-11. That was shocking to me. And I've seen motherfuckers die. I've seen about 20, 24 different people die right in front of my face. Watch the fucking last breaths come out of their fucking eyes. But to hear about 3,000 people die, innocent people die, that fucked me up. What do you do with that kind of fear? Because it's fear. It, it scares you. Life is scary. How do you get through life? How do you get through this world? It's so goddamn scary. You got to be familiar with evil. You got to understand your enemy. You can't be naive to the horrors of this world. If you are, you will be taken under. They, if you don't understand what, what con artists are, you will be conned. If you don't understand what people are capable of, you may be a victim of, of what people are capable of. Wise up. These are just things to think about for today. I hope you've enjoyed this list. Stay strong, everybody. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching.